हाई स्टूडेंट्स ना टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट दी फ्लावर फ्लावर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ फ्लावर ना हाउ डू यू रियली स्टडी दी स्ट्रक्चर द आउटर स्ट्रक्चर द इनर स्ट्रक्चर सो लेट अस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दी पेडिसल व्हाट वी आर होल्डिंग द फ्लावर विद इज पेडिसल पेडिसल सिंपल द स्टिक व्हिच यू कैन सी इज दी पेडिसल नाउ एज इट गोस अप you can see the swollen part that is thalamus this is thalamus thalamus now as you go above as you go above this green structure which you can see that is sepal sepal this structure is sepal also known as calyx sepal calyx and see carefully see carefully how the structure they form the whorl whorl is what they are in circle this is the outer circle which you can see that is the calyx sepals sepals they form the outer structure calyx so in this whorl the outer structure is the calyx which forms the sepals the sepals the outer whorl is calyx sepals don't get confused they are the same thing but this whorl is explained as calyx they are the sepals the green structure which you can see that is the sepals it protects the flower in the bud condition when it is in bud condition the flowers are protected by this sepals green color structures they protect it they don't let it die now this sepals about this sepals the wall the this outer is calyx next will be corolla this is corolla this petals which you can see they are known as corolla corolla they might be red they might be yellow they might be pink they might be purple corolla is to attract the insect for pollination so this are the non reproductive structure they are not actually doing reproduction but they now this is the innermost whorl that is the gynaecium here you can see this gynaecium here the structure of gynaecium here is the this gynaecium the structure is here drawn here this is gynaecium this is the female reproductive structure now what does this female female reproductive structure consist of it consists of stigma stigma this stalk most part is known as stigma it has got nectar like substance on the top and as it goes down it has got a slender stalk like structure slender stalk like structure which uh, ends into ovary which ends into ovary so here you can see this ovary and this is style this is stigma stigma style ovary this is the gynaecium this is the female reproductive structure so this is the innermost whorl here the innermost whorl the circle the innermost circle is gynaecium now this is the androecium you can see the anther you can see the anther lobes uh now on the anther lobes you can see the pollen grains pollen grains they are very minute they are very small structure which will get attached to the legs of the insect this pollen grains here they are on the they this forms the androecium this forms the androecium this is the slender stalk this is the slender stalk which is filamentous which is filamentous and this is endosium so here you can see the anther on which you find the pollen grains and this is the filaments this is endosium this is endosium now the innermost is gynaecium female reproductive structure the outer to this is the innermost is gynaecium next to gynaecium is the endosium then corolla calyx these are the four whorls which are the four circles you can see 
So here is gynaecium, the structure of gynaecium, stigma, style, ovary. And here it is androecium, anther which consists of pollen grains. And pollen grains, they consist of the male reproductive cells structure. And here this is androecium. Androecium means male reproductive structure. And it is also known as stamen. Now, here this is female reproductive structure. So here let us see the flower again. Here you can see this flower, this is pedicel, which is the stalk which is attached to the plant. And that goes into thalamus. Here the outermost whorl is the calyx. That is sepals green in color that protects the flower under the bud condition. This sepals, they protect the flower under bud condition. Next is the corolla, the petal which you can see it is to attract the insects, the petals. They might be red, uh, pink, white, they might be purple, various color. That is the corolla. Petals are known as corolla. These are the non-reproductive structure. Then the innermost female reproductive structure that is gynaecium. Gynaecium consists of the ovary style stigma. Now this ovary will consist of ovules. Which will? They will consist of ovules. Now this ovules will become seed. When you eat any fruit there is seed inside. So what are seeds? They are ovules. They are ovules. Now this ovary, the ovary which you can see will become fruit. The ovary which you can see will become fruit. And inside this fruit what do you get? Ovules. Ovules what it will become? Seeds. So ovary will become fruit and inside the ovules will become seed. And when you eat the fruit, you throw the seed. Those were the ovules. Now this seed will give rise to the new plant. So this is the reproductive structure which goes on with new and new plant. So this is the structure of flower. See you. Bye-bye.